I used to think that there just wasn't enough time in the day to fit in exercise into my already busy schedule. So even though as a nurse, I knew all these amazing benefits of working out and eating healthy, that working out part was something I struggled with for a very long time. But after two years of making consistent efforts to improve, I'm actually excited to share with you today my fitness secrets to losing fat and building lean muscle at home. Despite the busy schedule of caring for a newborn, learning Dutch in less than a year, trying to adjust to a new country and also work. Anyway, let's get into the video. Finding ways to combine two or more activities at the same time is a time management hack that helps me to free up time for workout or for other activities. And when you're a busy person, then you really have to learn how to be a master at multitasking so, be, so that you'll be able to free up time to even spend time with your family or do other things that gives you pleasure and also even to work out too. When I was learning Dutch, for instance, I would listen to audiobooks while doing chores. So find ways in your in your own personal situation to add two or more activities. For instance, some passive activities that you can do while doing active ones. For instance, if you're working from home, then maybe you can do some work on the treadmill instead of sitting on the decks all day. Now, I just want you to know that there's never going to be a perfect day. It's just about making the most of your day and just as accepting there are some days that you might not feel super motivated to work out or there are some days that you might actually just be very tired and on those days do not beat yourself up for not being able to work out on those days instead of that maybe just go for a little walk or just something as simple as a stretch it is okay finding ways to incorporate movement into my day that are not necessarily exercise activities is another way to burn those extra calories and my favorite ways of doing this include going for a walk before or after dinner with my family and that is my favorite because it's actually a win-win situation my daughter gets to play with in the park and i get my steps in and everybody's happy i also prefer to cycle to work instead of going with the bus so find practical ways to incorporate more movement into your day like taking the stairs instead of the elevator or going to walk into the store instead of using your car short 15 minutes full body workout has been like my lifeline on days that i really cannot squeeze out a large chunk of time to work out and apart from giving me that metabolic boost and just keep helping to keep me fit and strong it also helps to help me to accomplish my goal of working out for at least five days a week and then with two rest days i i have a very busy schedule i do not have time to work out that is the common excuse i hear from family members and friends whenever i talk to them about exercising as someone who needs to make a thousand and one excuses myself i can completely relate to that so even though you might not be able to squeeze out 30 minutes to one hour to work out, then just the 10 minutes work out. That 10 to 15 minutes might squeeze out from your busy schedule to work out might seem insignificant. But do that repeatedly for a period of time and then see how this will contribute eventually to your overall fitness goal. So whether in your office or even in the bath, even in the bathroom before you get ready for the day, just squeeze in a little workout. Because meal prep is also a very important part of achieving my fitness goal, I try to cook in bulk most of my meals, especially lunch and dinner. And I do not, instead of cutting out food groups, I actually aim for a balanced meal with the right amount of protein, carbohydrates and healthy fat, and even fiber to keep me full for a longer time and reduce unnecessary cravings. And because I want to make this fitness journey sustainable for me, I do not restrict myself from having desserts or cookies or even a chocolate bar when I want. I go ahead to do that as long as I have my protein snack first or my filling vegetable, for instance, a cucumber first, and then I can go ahead to treat myself to a cake, a piece of cake or even chocolate. So yeah, if you want this fitness journey to be sustainable, and then you are allowed to have treats. Even though I, I love to cook and try out new recipes, I have a list of simple, easy to prepare meals that I can make when I just easily want to whip something up. The quality of meals is also very important. You need nutritious meals to nourish your body. So I aim for high protein, whole foods or minimally processed meals. 
This is because this type of foods require a lot of energy from the body to be digested. And that's just a way of your body burning more calories. That is just about reassessing your situation and finding out what changes you can do to your schedule to improve things and just help making work, working out and eating healthy easier for you. For instance, personally, I had to quit the gym because sometimes when I want to go to the gym, I never had someone to care for my child. So I, so I find working out at home easier because I can just squeeze in a workout whenever I have free time without having to bother about who is going to care for my child when I'm away. So some other tips I have include waking up early before your kids are awake to work out and also even preparing the night before because it's much easier for you to be able to fit in working out into your busy schedule if you plan some other things ahead the night before. I actually have this video of how to start and stay consistent with working out. So you might want to check that out too because it's actually more in-depth about how the things that will help you to stay consistent with working out. So anyway, I wish you success in your fitness journey. And as usual, I would love to know what tip or hack is helping you stay fit despite a busy schedule. Please share in the comments. Let's share and learn from each other.